Alright, what's up? I'm Ayan, and today I will show you how to update your Kali Linux to the latest available version, updating all the packages and the fully upgrade. First of all, we need to open up the terminal. So, all we need to do is to type in sudo su to gain super user access, also known as root access. So, we're gonna type in my Kali password, or oh, you have to type in yours, not mine. Okay, now here we go. Now this terminal has been opened up as root. Now we need to type in apt get update. This is a video on how to fix all those update errors. Whenever you need, we need to update, we type in apt get update. But sometimes, usually now these days, this does not do anything. It only read packages list and it says done, but it does not update at all. So let's try the other one, apt dash get update upgrade. So we're gonna do this now. Here is we have an error. It says broken packages. So to fix this error, we will be clearing this whole command. And first of all, we have to make sure what kind of source we have. Type in the cat slash atc slash apt slash sources dot list. Here we need to make sure that this line starting with deb is same as shown in this video if it is not same you might have to consider downloading the latest iso and flashing and reinstalling your kali linux or you can also update it again so for updating we will be changing the up command to apt space update we will not be using the dash get section we will only be using apt update because this is the new version of Kali Linux and it works like this. So it says we have 872 two packages can be upgraded. upgraded. So we're gonna type in apt space full dash uh, space full dash great upgrade. And now this will show you all the everything every information about the upgrade. So we're simply gonna ignore it and type in y and hit enter. Uh, let me show you because this is not showing really clearly because of I have a screen dot or something the black spot on my screen so uh, now we're gonna hit enter and this will start connecting to the internet and downloading all of these packages this will take about 734 MBs so it will take some time depending on my internet speed now as you can see it has started and is already getting packages from the Kali's official website and the developers. Now all we have to do is wait for it to download all those packages and then we can update it peacefully. This is going to take some time so I am thinking I should skip it and let's get on to the next step. Okay, now the downloading is about to complete because I did not interrupt my internet connection because that was really a critical issue if you disrupt your internet connection. But you can also do the command again and it will resume the download. I'm just gonna fit this terminal so that black spot does not affect our site. Damn, I got issues. Okay, now this is downloading a big file okay here we have the speed and the time remaining we only got 10 seconds till it fully upgrades i think this is the last package yep it seems like it so all the packages are now downloaded if we want to set up console you can set it up for now i will be cancelling it just to show you that one error occurs if you do not set up the console so I have cancelled it now it started to install everything this will also take some time because why not the extraction process is also lengthy but don't worry guys we will keep an eye on it and also I'm not gonna let you bore let you get bored so I'm gonna just skip it and let's get straight to the end of the progress if anything comes up I will let you know okay now I have skipped most of the time and I think this is it we have only 99% 
yep this may take some time at 99% it usually stops and this takes a little bit of time so I'm not gonna wait for it I am only going to skip it up and I don't mean like skipping up the process I'm only going to skip the video just to keep this video short okay now everything is done but we got a small console setup sub process error code 1 so we're gonna clear the terminal and now we're gonna type in apt update that error happened because I skipped the console installation so I will show you how to do that if you get this issue you can fix it just by typing apt update now it shows all packages are up to date which means our update worked now we're gonna type in apt upgrade uh, upgrade and you can you can see here it says one not fully installed or removed so we're gonna type in y and hit enter here we can see we have this console open up now if I cancel it it gives me a sub process error with the return code 1 uh, you can see it right there so we're gonna type in apt upgrade again and now I will be typing y to continue and now you need to select a language that you want your console to be set up I uh, just happened to choose the last option because I don't see any other language here that suits my needs so everything is done now we need to check uh, double check if the update is processed so we're gonna type in apt update yep all packages are up to date good now apt upgrade we do not have to do anything else but we can also remove automatically packages that were automatically installed but we do not need them anymore so we're gonna type in this command that shows sudo apt auto remove yep this command right here this will remove all those packages that we do not require anymore just the useless ones so we get our system clean now it is removing all those packages and the this process is really smooth and I love it okay and let's clear the terminal again let's make sure everything is up to date so we're gonna type in apt update you can press the up key to use the previous commands that you used because it automatically saves those commands for you so you do not have to type it all again let's type in apt upgrade and everything is up to date anyway that's been it thanks for watching I will catch you in the next one take care goodbye